So what we have here, uh, I guess we can call this the good cards, question mark. Uh, this is, I mean, realistically, it's just four color. Here's all of the good cards. Brainstorm, Lightning Bolt, Ragavan, Deathrite Shaman, Orcish Bowmasters, Oko, Minskin Boo, Expressive Iteration. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say about this deck besides it's just, you know, a mid-range deck that has good cards. Four Spell Pierce is kind of interesting. I do think Spell Pierce is relatively well positioned in the format. So, yeah, I mean, we'll uh, we'll give this a shot and see how it does. Um, one thing that I'm a little bit scared of is whether we end up playing against Blood Moon or not. But what's nice about Blood Moon is you still have Ragavan and Deathrite to kind of fight through it, and you have four Pierce to counter it, so... Um, and I haven't been seeing a lot of Blood Moons on the ladder as of late. Sideboard is just some stuff you would expect. Thought Seizes, Pithing Needle, Veil of Summer, Fatal Push, Aether Gust, Terra Sunder, Mystical Dispute. Like, all these cards are relatively self-explanatory. It's not a very exciting deck, but it's just the good cards and see how good that is. So we'll see how it does. Yeah, I've been, I've been having so much fun playing Titan. Or playing Timeless, rather. How do you beat Titan decks? Uh, dodge. Uh, this hand looks dope. Keep it. Oh, immediately queue into Titan, of course. Our unmutable matchup. It's okay, I can Ragavan first. And then ping their token to get a Ragavan hit. This matchup does kind of stink, though. We have turn three Minsk. Might be good. Might be good enough. <clears throat> oh, you're not supposed to play another blocker. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Maybe I should play Death right there. Because it guarantees the Minsk next turn. Yeah, that might have been a little bit better. Modern is basically on Arena. Kind of. I mean, it's Modern Light for sure. Why do they have Mount Doom in their deck, by the way? Is it just their red land for the Haster? The, the Haste land? That doesn't sound very good, though. Uh, We just can't win, right? <laughs> like, the game's literally over. Unless they somehow don't have Titan. Which is not very likely. All right, chat. Odds they have Titan in hand, 100%. Second ability comes up sometimes with the ring. Okay, sure, I could buy that. What's the activation cost? Wow, they had Primeval Titan. Five mana, so, so seven mana, tap, second, legendary artifact. Okay, okay, I'm with you. It could be, like, be okay against opposing field decks, too, where you can clear their fields and get the first attack with Titan. Could be kind of cool. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Maybe we should have more in the sideboard for Titan, because we don't really have a lot here. And by we don't have a lot, I mean I have one Aether Gust. A singular Aether Gust and a Dream. Uh, I guess I have Thoughtseize. Cut all the pierces, maybe. Shave a Bolt. I'd rather have Heat over Bolt, because Heat actually kills Titan. <laughs> Do you want Terra Sunder 4? I think with four copies of Unholy Heat, I'm not looking for a four-mana answer to Primeval Titan. Like, I'm just going to hope that my Heats are good enough. This hand is nuts, by the way. This is turn two Oko, turn three Thoughty is your Titan. Spelunking? I don't think Spelunking matters that much, though. Yeah, I mean, like, <clears throat> the what matters about Spelunking is the trigger, like the explore part of it. So Terra Sunder against that card is not super relevant. 
can double Thoughtseize next turn now. I will make blue mana. I will cast the card Oko Thief of Crowns. Have you heard of it? I can also brainstorm first next turn. Sure. Ooh, they don't have another land. So their hand right now is all spells. All right, please don't miss, please don't miss, please don't miss. Thank you. Because I'll put two back. Uh, I mean, I could be pretty liberal with my life total, right? I guess is there a reason to be? Yeah, I want second black in play. I guess that's the reason. It's not like they're going to kill me with random damage. Perilous Vault. Uh, okay. Yep, Vault. Anyone else dropping frames? Uh, I am currently dropping no frames on my end. It got real choppy. Mm, it shouldn't have. No, it looks fine here. Showing no drop frames, no nothing. That's kind of weird. Maybe try refreshing. But everything looks fine on my end. Uh, do I take both vaults is the question. Leave them with Spelunking Kami Uro. We don't care about the Uro because we have the Death Red Shaman to kill that. Yeah, I'll just take both vaults, I think. Yes, I am sure. <clears throat> Swap networks. Oh, that could be what it is then. But yeah, everything looks good on my end. No drop frames. Bitrate looks good. Everything looks good over here. We were having some issues on Saturday, and I couldn't figure out why. The issues seem to have gone ever since I've lowered the FPS. I might try to bring the FPS back up tomorrow because I know people were complaining about it earlier. I don't, I mean, I don't notice that much of a difference. You had a small stutter too. Maybe it was Twitch because it doesn't look like it was on my end. As far as I can tell, it could have just been a Twitch thing. Uh, go. Yeah, everything, everything looks good. Spelunking. Oh, I'm spelunking. My turn. Ragavan, huh? Uh, well, let's make a food. We know about Uro. I guess I can go Bowmaster the Kami dash Ragavan. Seems fine, right? Red dash this. I'm at seven, by the way. <laughs> I got to be a little bit careful of my life total. You're at 23 now, too. I guess I actually kind of get punished if they find back-to-back -back fetch lands. Okay, they didn't find back-to-back -back fetch lands. Upstairs. We still probably can't beat a Primeval Titan off the top at any point this game. <clears throat> Channel Kami. Okay, so Elk this. Yes. Uh, dash this. Three, six, seven, eleven. Hit nothing. Then I guess we just pass. Oh, shit. I didn't leave up a green source. Oh, I gotta read it, huh? <laughs> I gotta read it. Oh, I have the, I have the treasure. Yeah, I forgot I have the treasure. Okay, I guess I'll do that. For some reason, I thought I didn't have a green source. <laughs> I thought I got auto-tappered. 
This line doesn't let me hold up bolt or heat, but I don't know how relevant that is. It's probably not super relevant to hold these up, right? Yeah, probably not. The Greza. Uh Oh, they only had eight mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they only had eight mana. Do I have lethal? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, I do have lethal. Yeah, we can also elk the vault too. I guess they were just one mana short. If they had one more mana, I might have been fucked here. Because they could have just popped the vault immediately. That would have been scary. Now that they've shown me Perilous Vault, I probably need this needle. Just cut one of the other bolts. Yeah, Perilous Vault kind of crushes me. Thankfully, we drew double Thoughtsies that game to be able to take them both. Casting Ragavid instead of Drain. Yeah, I guess I had them. I could have also bolted them and swapped the. I had I had Lethal plenty of different ways. Yeah, Terra Sunder is more appealing if they have Vault. That is a good point. <clears throat> it's a little more appealing. Uh, I'm gonna keep. God, they always have the one drop. They do have eight of them, to be fair. No, let's lead Steam Vents, I think. I could have gone Blood Crypt Breeding Pool, but Blood Crypt Breeding Pool is bad. Eh, I guess it's the same thing. I bolt this, attack, get the treasure, use the treasure for Thoughtseize. I was going to say if I drew exactly Thoughtseize. And I have to decide between Bolt and Heat. Heat can kill Titan, but I'm so far away from Delirium that I'm just going to save the Bolt. Okay. Um, get Blood Crypts, probably. What do you mean, save you? Save you from what? What did you do? Love how Gigantha has never been relevant this match. Just, it's just chilling over there. Supporting the team. Oh, I get it. You were making a joke. I see. I get it now. I'm with you. All right. Well, surely they don't have Primeval Titan in hand, right? What if they just didn't have Titan? Thoughts? I can't really beat it anyways, so... <laughs> Not like there's much I can do about it. I can attack my opponent for as much damage as possible, but yeah, just simply just dodge, you know? 13, one time no Titan. All right, go. One time. I guess what I was going to say is nice about Titan is that even if they have it, they have three forests in play, which means they can't get zombies this turn, so... They got the world tree. I could swap with Oko. I would have to bin my Oko to do that. But I can swap treasure, Golos, hit for five, put them to eight, and step death right. <laughs> kind of into it. What's my alternative? I can elk this, but elk this doesn't let me attack through the Golos. Yeah, I'm doing it. It's maybe bad into Peseju. It is really bad into Peseju. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, and then we go combat. We have to think about Perilous Vault too, I guess. I I did give them a mana source for Vault. It's kind of awkward. Oh. Wait, I can just cast that, right? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll cast it. I guess I'll cast it.
Uh, Excel this. Make green. You ever just like cast the Primeval Titan from your four color mid range deck? Imagine getting the Golos ability. Oh, I can make white off Death Rite. Right. Okay. I was like, how am I making white mana? But I have the Death Rite. Just get two fetch lands for more Death Rite fuel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can go land vault. Oh. Well, I guess we have the Golos, right? <laughs> that also clears the Ugin. Yeah, the Golos survives. So we go Bowmaster, the Eugene. Combat, hit them for three. They go to five. We play Death Rite. We somehow still don't have Delirium. I guess we only have three cards in the graveyard. Okay, that's a zombie. We can kill that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, okay. That's not great. Yeah, that's not great. <clears throat> Could have picked up Gigantha, I guess. Uh, I should probably target this. Because they're going to Uro again, right? Yeah, I should target this. Why is there no best of three timeless cube for unranked? There should be. Is there not? That's kind of weird. This Coldos activation will go hard. Uh, it's going to have to go really hard. We don't have much left. Okay. So kill their zombie. They have Uro two zombies. And we have a third type when we put a fetch lane in the graveyard. We can spin Golos. Yeah, Oko Minsk. It's probably our best hit, right? How do we get Delirium, by the way? What am I missing? Instant? I have instant planeswalker land. Oh, iteration. Yeah, I guess iteration is how I get to delirium. That's got to be better than Golo spinning, right? Because I can go brainstorm, find iteration, iteration, heat the uro, eat with death right. Yeah, that ha that has to be better than. Uh, that's got to be better than than Golo spin. And if I just hit any land, I can still spin, right? Okay, those are pretty good. So... Um, put back land, Oko, Bowmaster, my own Bowmaster, heat the Uro, E with death rate. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Top the Oko. Then we go. I want to make sure I don't get auto tapped. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I've gotten auto tapped enough today. Yes. Bowmaster, my own bowmaster. Red, heat the uro. I don't even have to eat it now. They have no graveyard, so I can wait on the heat. And then, question is, can I attack with both? They have a Blast Zone on one. Mm, I think I can, because I'm going to be gaining two off Death Red Shaman. They're probably going to double the 4-4 four four anyways. We still kind of have to dodge Prime Beeple Titan. Oh, shit. I can actually upkeep Golos, right? Okay, they're popping that. I can no longer upkeep Golos. Because I don't have a 7th mana source. Wait, what just happened? What did they do? Oh, they activated. Okay, I, for some reason I thought they popped it. They just put a counter. I thought they popped it. That was my bad. Well, I could have upkeep Golos. Now I can't. Uh, 
All right, I wasn't going to, but let's just do it. Let's do it for the for the folks at home. We have to spin, right? I mean, we didn't come here to not spin my Golos. <laughs> I don't think this play is right, but I didn't come here to not do it. That's, that's pretty good. I think that's acceptable. I think that's uh, that's acceptable. I actually kind of want to elk the Bowmaster. I know they have the Blast one on two, but if they're popping Blast one on two, they're not doing it on three for the Oko. So I'm pretty sure them popping this is better for me. You ever just spin a Golos? Still can't beat Primeval Titan, by the way. Never beating that card. <laughs> they put it to five. They're more concerned with Golos than the Oko. That's crazy. They care more about Golos than Oko. You'll love to see it. It's my last fetchable. Yeah, that's a good point. It does kind of make sense because they have field. So, oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. I misclicked. I misclicked. It's fine. I can, I can undo my misclick. I meant to elk the Ragavan. Whatever. I'm spewing value here, but the reason I'm doing this is it's a forced double jump block. Oh, or they could just die. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess it's not a force double jump block, huh? Okay. <clears throat> oh, God, we're so close. We're so close, chat. One of these days, I promise you, I promise you, one of these days we will get to 69. Not today, maybe not today, but at some point we will get there. Like, Atraxa as a creativity target is noticeably worse than Archon, and part of the reason for that is because you can't reliably creativity x equals 2. It's the Spirit's opponent. Is it? You sure? Looks like it is. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to do this now. Play around uh, Rattle Chains. <clears throat> yeah, Force of Negation could be a good call. White needs a buff. I mean, they already have Swords to Plowshares. What more do you want, you know? Oh, they just don't have Rattle Chains. Stoneforge Mystic. Kira, Great Glass Spinner. That card's really good against me, huh? Uh, that's an issue. That's kind of an issue. I mean, I can kill it right now. Right, I can Bowmaster to counter it, then, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That was where I was at, too. So we just go Shock. Arena, you almost got me again. <clears throat> Resolve. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you sure you want to target your opponent's creature? Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's the first time that I've seen somebody cast uh, Kira. Skyclave is totally fine. Are you sure you want to kill your opponent's creature? I think it matters which red source I hold up. I guess Stomping Ground cast Death Ridge Shaman. So, hand, library, exile. Can cast said death right. Uh, there's a chance I can spell pierce something here. Not likely, but maybe. I don't even know what I could spell pierce. Not that. Fosterstorm? What are we thinking? Fosterstorm, Eldrazi, Cradle Academy, Sanctum, Bizarre Wasteland. <laughs> I think those cards are maybe a little bit too above the power level that's acceptable. 
I mean, I like where your head's at, but I think I think those cards are probably a little too good. Just just a little. Splinter Twin. Is there Deceiver or is Deceiver or the other one on Arena? I don't think they are, right? Deceiver or Pestermite? Yeah, Elves with Cradle. I mean, there's probably some sicko stuff you can do with Academy. <clears throat> no, I agree. I don't think it would be too good either. I'm with you. Okay, that's a brick. Drawing a lot of lands this game. I guess I should have picked up Gigantha. Yeah, I should have picked up Gigantha there. I realized that after I already said go. This makes them use their mana. I don't know how much more relevant this spell pierce is going to be this game. What the hell is this from, by the way? What is this set? Oh, they just didn't pay. Okay. I don't know why they wouldn't pay there. I'm just going to gain life now. That'll send El Herida's Druid Burst Lore. Yeah, there's there's some elves. Why would Symbiote too? But I guess th there's no Symbiote in Modern. I think the big question is, like, what do they want the format to look like? Do they want it to look more like Modern or Legacy? Because once we figure out what their idea of the identity of the format is, then we can kind of better identify which cards are potential, you know, ads for uh, for those those anthologies and stuff. But I don't know. It kind of feels to me that it's closer to legacy than modern. I don't know if that makes sense. But it feels like it's a little bit closer to legacy in in my experience. It's honestly maybe even closer to vintage than modern. <laughs> just because there's like all those all these band cards. Doomsday. Doomsday'd be cool. But like Dark Ritual, Doomsday, Thassus Oracle, Brainstorm, that's that's probably too much, right? Probably can't have that. I need to find a removal spell for this thing right now. That is not a removal spell. No, I don't think they're I don't think they're straight rave. Or is a saga be cool? What about the pitch elementals? Yay or nay? Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably a no from me, dog. That's that's gonna be a no from me, dog. I agree. I, I fucking hate pitch elementals. <laughs> yeah, people would just play people would just play scam. They would just go like turn one, imagine this hand chat. In the timeless format, turn one, dark ritual, thought sees you, grief not dead after all. Like, bruh. Yeah, somebody showed me there was like an alternative version of, of Crashing Footfalls that looked really sick. So I'm hyped for that. I'm going to cut all these pierces. I don't think they're doing anything. I'll put like one thoughtsies. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. It's just legacy reanimator. Like that it would be comparable power level to a lot of legacy decks, which is something that you probably don't want in the format. You know, I will say I appreciate the ambition of our opponent to play spirits in the bowmaster format. They're definitely trying over there, you know? I gotta give them credit. I mean, they have to have Plow in their deck, right? I don't know if they have it here, but it's a card that's probably in their deck. Lofty and Denial.
All right, death rate go. I'm gonna hold up Bowmaster rather than play second death rate. I guess holding up Bowmaster doesn't do a lot against most of their sorcery speed two mana plays. Like if they just go the one three Lord pass, I can't Bowmaster that. Combat. It's gonna get hit twice by Ragavan. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, that's a hilarious draw step. Holy shit. <laughs> now I can just queller their whatever two drop they play. All right, go. <laughs> they can't even play a spell here. They just can't play a spell. Yeah, just get time walked. Get absolutely time walked. Uh, is there any creatures? Mod check creatures. Combat. I'm going to attack. <clears throat> sure, I guess. Sparks, thank you for the 17 month reset. Welcome back, Sparks. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. God, I love that that sub alert, by the way. That sub alert is so good. Could have maybe shipped the Minsk there? I don't know. I don't know if you guys heard it yet, but we also did add a uh, a new alert for, for 5 Gifted as well. It's pretty good. We got to hear it earlier today. Why is the control player getting hit by Ragavan over and over? Yeah, I don't know. Well, they're not playing control. They're playing spirits. <laughs> God, dude, this is just not fair. Oh, uh, this is not fair. I mean, I guess I'll cast it. Sure, I don't know. I guess I'll cast it. If you insist. They've already gone through two spell colors. What are the odds they have a third one? Oh, fuck. Uh, that's that's a problem. Yeah, that's uh, not good. Okay. Okay. Uh, go, I guess. Yeah, Keck, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Opponent, we can talk about this. Opponent, we, we can talk about this. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to it doesn't have to be this way. We, we can we we can have a conversation. I mean, we still have Bowmaster, so I'm not sure how much it really matters. Like they get a turn of reprieve. I, I legit think that they just took their explorer deck and added ring and reprieve. I guess they have Kira, too. When they spell Queller a stolen spell, who gets it back? Uh, the exiled card's owner may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So, the owner of the card. Yeah, they had Draw Skull, too. Yeah. They also have Watery Grave. Wait, where did you see Watery Grave? I don't see Watery Grave. Skyclave Apparition. Mm, sure. Oh, when I played them on Elves, I didn't see it. I believe you, but I didn't see it. I'm actually going to end step kill the Skyclave. I kind of want them to rattle chain so I can resolve Minsk. I kind of want them to change this. Yeah, deal. Question is, do I use the Death Ray Shaman to drain them? Yeah, I think it's fine. I just like, with them having Ring in hand, I really want to deal them as much damage as possible. Okay. can break this. Get a basic... Take some less damage. Slam this. Take action. 
Counters on this. Can send. I, I'll trade the Ragavan at this point because I have second Ragavan. They can't really go to two. They can't really go to four either. Like, <laughs> they're just kind of toast. <clears throat> and Deathrite actually kills through the ring, which is pretty funny. I wonder if they have Watery Grave for, like, Thoughtseize or something. That could be Tomber. I don't know. Not that I'm saying that's a good idea, but <clears throat> it, it, it is a reason to play Black Mana. It's a reason. Okay, you're just dead to the Death Rites on board. Is there not enough spells? Yeah, there's two spells. I got two spells. Black mana. Activate my planeswalker. All right, game three. We have to be on the draw this time, though. I don't like being on the draw as much. I could bring in more thought seizes on the draw. I don't know what I'd cut, though. Maybe the second Minsk? Yeah, I'll just bring in the second Thoughtseize. Minsk is kind of awkward on the draw, because they have so many, like, Lofties and Spell Quellers and all this stuff. It's really hard to resolve. It's, it's hard to set up a spot where you can both, like, not be behind on board enough to where Minsk can cook and also actually resolve the card, you know? Seems okay. It's very painful, which I don't love too much. Um, mentioned in Veil at all? No, because Veil doesn't get... They showed us Reprieve, and Veil doesn't get around Reprieve or Spell Queller, so that's kind of awkward. Yeah, I'm going to Thoughtseize. Skip Blood Crypt. Again, very painful hand. Chains, Phantom, Ring, Counterspell... I think it's between these two for me. I don't currently have a good answer to ring. But they're a wait they're man, they're not a ways away. They only have one more land. I can like hope to find Bowmaster by the time ring is relevant. Let's just take Lofty. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, I believe in you. Okay, not terrible. <clears throat> Do we have good answers to ring? The only one that we really have is Bowmaster. So maybe I should have taken it. Now we kind of have to just expressive and pray. Yeah, I guess we have Oko too. Although this sucks if they have Queller. Oh, I could also do that. can also do that. You know, that's not great. It's not exactly what we're looking for. I have to shock to kill this thing now. I don't think... I don't have basic mountain. Uh, green mana. And maybe just hope that they never draw land four. But if they're not drawing land four, they have other spells to play. Uh, huh? I'm confused. I'm I'm very very confused. Hmm. Why would they not cast that? They definitely have Queller. Although I feel like if they had Queller, they would have quelled the iteration last turn, right? Is there any world I'm not just jamming Minsk and praying? I mean, think about it this way: if I don't jam. I guess I can maybe wait till the turn they tap out for ring. Yeah, it's just so obvious they have a counter spell, right? I'm just going to do this. Okay, good. Land sorcery instant. So we can't quite heat this. 
That's unfortunate. It's not even clear that resolving Minsk is good enough after they ring, although Minsk does kill really quickly. So that could be a thing. <clears throat> okay, we can kill that. Kind of happy they're casting this this turn. I don't know why they're not casting the ring. That is so odd to me. Okay, okay. That is decent. I'm not going to cast it this turn, though. We're just definitely just going to Minsk. And start the race. They go to 14, then they play Ring. We can throw the Boo token at Spellqueller to get our Ragavan back, maybe? They're attacking me and not Minsk. That is bold. That's very, very bold. Um, I think I throw the boo at Spellqueller. Just to try and find... I want to find an Oko. Because then I can Oko the ring. Okay, didn't find an Oko. Found a second Bowmaster, which is nice, though. So now we get to go... Uh, I guess Tapland Pass? And then hold up Bowmaster, Bowmaster Bolt. Yeah, this seems fine. So that trigger happens. They go to tap ring. They can respond. And now even if they have spell queller, we can bolt the queller. This kind of worked out perfectly. I don't know if this could have worked out any better for us. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, I think this is like best possible scenario. Yeah, see? Yeah, queller happens. Bolt this guy. Just, you know, severely, severely outplayed. That, that, my face when my opponent played second Bowmaster. Oh, you're mega dead. I'm not sure that I was supposed to win this game, but, you know, I mean, we take those, right? Still no 69, though. I'm very, very upset about that. Very, very upset about that. 69 win, that's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> sorry.